Hey everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to another Web Dev Wednesday. So we are continuing our discussion on CSS today with something called pseudo classes. So last week I touched on the basic anatomy of a CSS rule as well as ID and class that you can uh, like put right in your HTML. You add it to your to your uh, source code to target with CSS. But pseudo classes are so, a way to target those elements or something, some behavior they are doing without having to mark up the HTML itself. And the four pseudo classes I'm going to talk about today are, I think, best applied to links. So we're going to play with some links in a little bit. But if you look here, this is the anatomy of a pseudo class. And these are selectors that you would put before your CSS rule. And this blank is just whatever the selector is. So say you want to target the paragraph element that has focus. You put a P here, P colon focus. Um, and as you will see in all of our examples we're doing today, we're just going to use our A tag to target our links. So let's take a look at the example site I have going here. Here you can see I put together just a little a little page to test out some of our pseudo classes. It's just a list of links, some top visited sites in 2017. <laughs> um, I looked up a list there. So, and I have a few styles just to make it stand out a little bit and center everything so it's a little bit easier to follow here. So, remember we're going to do focus, active, visited, and hover. That's just for me to remember down here. And actually, I'm going to comment it out. And this is how you comment out code in CSS, either between this slash star and star slash, or if you want to do single lines, you can just do, maybe not in CSS. It must just be that in CSS. Okay. So I'm going to comment that out just so I have it for reference. And I'm actually going to apply some initial styles to my links. I'm going to give it text decoration none, which if we save and refresh, we'll see it takes away the underline. Okay, just so we can see what we're working with here. So let's start with focus. The focus pseudo class targets an element when it has the focus of the browser. So let's just make it clear <laughs> what element has the focus by giving it a really big font size of like 50 pixels and let's make it red. Okay. So we'll save that, refresh our page, and I'm just going to hit the tab key, and it will tab down, jump from element to element, having the focus. As you can see, it's hopping down, and it's a way to make it clear what element has the focus, okay? So I'm going to just add another rule here. A active and the active pseudo class targets an element while it is being clicked on. So I'm going to hold down the mouse and you'll see it kind of just makes it clear hey, this is what you're clicking on before it sends the user to wherever the link sends it. So let's have this be like aqua font weight bold and let's add the underline. Save this and refresh. So I'm going to hold down my click. So while I'm holding down the mouse, that's what it looks like before sending. Okay, that's the active pseudo class. So we're going to style our visited links. So after a link has been visited, it's going to have a different style. Let's do the color of black. Something small for that. So I visited all of them. That was not the best example. Hmm. Well, since I visit them all, you see they change color. If I change it to red, they'll all turn red because I visited them all. Normally, just an unstyled visited link is that purple that you'd see normally on an unstyled page. And our last one is hover, my favorite. So again, similar to the active, which is while you are clicking down, the hover pseudo class is going to style them while the mouse is hovered, while the cursor is hovered over them. So let's do something else. Let's do a background color of just a lime green while the element is hovered over. 
save, refresh. Oh yeah, look at that. So now hovering over, we can see the background changes. When I click on it, it gets really big and bold and underlined. And if I tab my focus down, it gets really big and it's still red. That's just a quick overview of pseudo classes and the ones that are best applied to links. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to catch the next Web Dev Wednesday, which we will continue to explore CSS and maybe even some more advanced topics alongside it, just so we're not stuck in the slow lane if you are already comfortable with CSS and ready for something further. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next week.